Hi, I'm Steve Schweitzer. I'm in coastal North Carolina at the Cape Fear Kite Festival. I'm here to reconnect with some friends from Indianapolis. And the reason I've got this kite is I want to pay homage to a master kite builder I met almost 40 years ago when I was a rookie photographer at Wish. This year, kite lovers had to brave overcast skies and wind so high it was tough to keep some kites aloft. I've loved them since I was a child flying the uh, 10 cent grocery store variety paper kites. That's my buddy Bill Shomo. Today, he's flying a Delta Wing. Now, Bill lives in Cape Fear, but almost 40 years ago, he ran Windiana Kite Works at Keystone at the Crossing. And he's still a kid at heart. Nobody's ever had a nervous breakdown while flying a car. This festival began 14 years ago when a friend gave Mike Anger a little kite. That little kite led to a bigger one and a bigger one and a bigger one. And uh, then I got to, to travel around with different festivals and so we decided we would do our own here. Over the years, the two-day festival has grown in popularity with a reported 17,000 visitors last year. But I didn't drive 12 hours just to watch other people fly kites. The blue and white beauty my wife Sheila and I are flying was made for me by a master kite maker named Ansel Tony. His farmhouse workshop was in farmland, Indiana, but he's known around the world as the Kite Man. He was 91 when I met him four decades ago, and he sewed together this colorful patchwork in his kitchen. And I can just go to that old sewing machine and just relax. Ansel started making kites in eight. 1995, when he was six years old. In his 99-year lifetime, he made tens of thousands of kites that fly all over the world. It's fun to put them up in those clouds. I like to put them in the clouds. I run, run up in the clouds one day and run a buzzard out. I can honestly say that Ansel is the most memorable person I met in my 30 years of covering newsmakers. And I'm not the only one who cherishes his acquaintance. I was fortunate enough to meet Ansel uh, during my misspent youth when I was um, the proud owner of a kite shop in Indianapolis called Wendyana Kite Work. The only dark spot on today's horizon is that too many of the flyers are like me and Bill, with AARP cards in their pocket. This was the only future flyer I found with her own kite aloft. There's not that many young people that are into it. So we're kind of concerned about who's going to car keep carrying it on. But uh, hopefully there'll be some younger people come along. Hopefully the next generation of flyers will be inspired by days like this, with cloud chasers filling the skies. I'm sure Ansel would have been fascinated by some of the man-made birds aloft today. And I know he would have been thrilled to see his own Delta wing flying these coastal skies. He always said the Delta was his favorite kite because it flies like a seagull. For Great Day TV, I'm Steve Schweitzer.